How long should you study for the FE exam? We would think that delaying our FE exam date is a good thing because it's gonna give us more time to study, more time to practice, and it's gonna result in better retention of the material or information we're learning. But does it? In reality, delaying your FE exam date has two main drawbacks. It's going to be forgetting what you already learned and burnout. So the answer to how long you should study for your FE exam should revolve around these two main drawbacks. So spending more time studying does not guarantee that we're gonna perform better and retain more. For example, a student that spends, let's say eight to 12 months studying will not perform better or retain more than a student that spends three to six months studying. More study time, more studying does not necessarily translate to better performance and better retention. Early on, we know there is a proportional relationship between the time spent studying and the retention of information, which leads to better performance. So more time spent studying, better retention, better performance. But then we hit a peak point. We hit a stagnation point where any increase in the time spent studying is gonna lead to a decline in retention and a decline in performance. Why? Let's take two students. Student A is gonna have a study plan for eight months. Student B is gonna have a study plan for four months. So now naturally, if you were student A, you would probably be thinking, I have more time to study, eight months, so I'm gonna probably study once every other day. Or maybe you won't study during the work week and be like on the weekend, I'm gonna go hard and put in a lot of quality study time. Now, if you were student B, you're gonna be probably thinking, I have only four months, then I have my exam date booked. I'm gonna have to study once each day. Once each day, ideally for one to two hours during the work week and more quality study time on the weekend, ideally six to eight hours. So now we have these two study plans. Student A, student B. Which student is going to retain more and forget less? It will be student B. This is because student B has a shorter time frame to work with, and that results into more exposure to the material at a more frequent basis. And this also results into more frequent reviews in a shorter time interval. We know they're operating at a high intensity at a short duration, whereas student A has a longer duration. Naturally, they will operate at a lower intensity, and we know they're not as frequently exposed to the material that they already learned before, and their reviews are not being spaced in a short time interval. And that's why student B will forget less and retain more. Now you might be thinking this, why can't student A study for eight months at a high intensity? Remember this, FE exam burnout is real and you're not a robot, you're not a machine to maintain that very high intensity for such a long time. I know for me personally, I would get exhausted. I know I have eight months, I'm gonna study each day, study on the weekends, review on a consistent basis for eight months, and I know I will lose motivation later on. Whereas when I compare that at the beginning, I'm gonna be more motivated. I'm ready to study, I have a study plan laid out, and I'm gonna do this for three to four months. I'm more motivated for a shorter duration, but I know I have to put in the work. I have to put in the consistent work. I have to stay committed. I have to get my family on board, my loved ones on board. We're all in this together. So we know FE exam burnout is real. Maintaining that high intensity for eight months does lead to burnout. So that's why that will be inefficient. So with all things being equal, it's better to study for a shorter duration at a high intensity, let's say three months at a high intensity or six months at a moderate intensity, then studying for a long duration, let's say eight to 12 months at a low intensity. It's time that you go all in. Download your 2024 Civil FE exam study planner below 
and start planning out your short duration, high intensity study plan. Get committed to this thing. Maintain your path of excellence because you're more than capable of preparing for this FE exam and getting this EIT.